Hello, in this um, tutorial I want to look at uh, using Zara's name colours and uh, shades of name colours which not a lot of many people seem to use but it's, uh, it's an exceptionally versatile tool um, so we'll um, have a look at how to create these name colours and shades thereof um, before I leave this title page down along the bottom on the colour bar here you can see that I've got um, that colour there, it's called Base 1 um, then the colours to the left here as base one, dark one, base one, dark two, base one, dark three, so on to base one, dark five. Similarly towards the right, base one, light one, base one, light two, base one, light three, base one, light four. Um, so you can see that um, you've got several shades of that colour base one. Uh, and of what value is that? So let's open up the colour editor and the first thing I need to do is go down to go down to the colour base one which I've selected there now. Now said base one and what I'm going to do is edit that colour and I can move this along and I want to make it say a, a greeny colour. Move along and notice that base one is now changed to a green colour but similarly so of the shades of base one dark five, base one dark four, base one dark three, base one light five, base one light four, they've all changed. And so um, let's have a look at um, how we create it. Here I've got a simple, um, let's let me move this color bar along a minute, just to the, towards the end. Right here I've got a simple shape. Uh, it's got a local fill colour at the moment, um, and let's say we want to make this a, an orangey, uh, an orangey red colour. Um, so the first thing we can do is, having selected that colour, is want to make that colour um, a named colour. So when you click on the new new named colour tag there, just a little tag, label, it says new colour, and I'm going to call that my colour. You can call it any colour you want, but uh, that's what uh, I'll call that my colour. That's what we're going to name it. Just move it across. Now you see that not only that is that colour, but you've, this my colour has now been added to the colour bar along the bottom. Okay, so now we want to go on and make shades of that. So what I'll do is just control K to clone that um, thing and I'll change the fill to a slightly darker colour and I'll ease it down slightly, ease it off there a bit so you can see it. Um, you can see that it's a second shape, it's a different colour, it's a now it's a local fill colour. Um, I want to name this one a, a new named colour, new colour, although this time I want to make it a shade. So it says make shade of my colour. So I'll create that shade of my colour. Then coming along there you can see that that is now filled with the shade of my colour. That's my colour, that's a filled with the shade of my colour. Um, Control K to clone that again. I'll just move it aside, change the size down a bit, change the colour again slightly. This time hit the name, new name colour. This time it automatically comes up, make a, the colour a shade of my colour, which is what I want. I say hit create, and then uh, Zara comes up uh, with this. Um, saying that that name already exists and um, so it's going to create, if you call it another colour, it's going to call it shade of my colour too. Click OK, that's fine. And move this aside again. There you can see now, shade of my colour too. We'll do one more. Um, Control K to clone it. Move it aside a bit. Change the size down a bit. Just move that back a bit. Let's lighten up this colour altogether. Over there. 
right. Named shade of my color, make it the color, the shade of my color, create. It says that that name is already taken, but it's gonna call it shade of my color three, okay. There's this color being added to the color bar, and that's it. Okay, though, so you've used those colors in the shape of a, of a car or something like that um, to just just add some feathering. Uh, excuse me a minute, I'll open this window up a bit more. This awful feathering thing. I'll add some feathering there. Okay, say so, uh, now I want to change my car and I didn't like the car, the color of my car, which the base color was um, that orangey color. I'd um, open the color editor. On the drop down list, drill down till you can't see it here, but on these on this drop down list, you go down till you find my color. And you click on my color, and you're now in the editing mode for my color. And I want to change that orange to a green. I just slide that along there, and you can see that my color changes the green color. Similarly, the shades also shape change to shades of green. Go along blue, darker blue, purple, red. So you can see once you've drawn a car and suddenly you don't like the colour of it, you can very rapidly change the uh, the whole shade colour and the shades of colour. Obviously what you can't do um, is just a, a quick example. If I create um, a colour like that, this time I just want a new colour and I'll just put sample colour create then control K to clone that move it aside and this time I'm going to make that a greeny colour I can't then go in and say make that a new name colour make it a shade of sample color create it just doesn't it just won't work it's obviously you've got to have some you can't have a green um, a shade of red or uh, you obviously have to have um, the colors within limits of each other within a percentage of the uh, master color anyway I hope that um, helps you um, I know on the forums of um, I always use um, this color palette down here um, with the, this base one and five ba uh, shades of it either side and that base two with five colors each, sh each side. Uh, that means I don't have to cre keep creating um, new colors each time I open a, open a new drawing. They're already in there in my template and I can just change those. So I've already got some set name colors rather than having to go through renaming colors all the time um anyway i hope that helped you um if not you can uh, let me know okay cheers thanks a lot goodbye